just moments away now from puck drop. The Avs have won the draw, and we are now underway. Middle stats got it in the corner. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Handles the pass. Back at the point, they set it up. Here's the puck. They score! And just like that, it's a 1 0 hockey game. Now they started like a freight train, just steamrolling their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing they were prepared coming in. No question that this would have been a tough save to make, James, as he's trying to out-battle and see the puck with all of those bodies in front of him. But, man, you got to find a way to get that club on the puck, especially when it's a windmill. He was looking for the flash and dash and just missed. The Avs get one quickly here, and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away, and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. And he loses control here. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Hill's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 the score. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Gains the zone from the right. Shot. Oh, excellent play and goal. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Oh, what a save in front! And some good footwork to kick it away. Now a quick pass to McKinnon. From center, they get into the attacking area. Vegas looks to move the puck from their own end. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Oh, that one pucks on short as he just gets enough of that one. Win that offensive zone face out. Oh, out of the play! Whoa! That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. I always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. icing the call. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. The Golden Knights win it. Ozone face-off, James. Critical time to gain possession with that clean win. And the entire group, they get that puck moving around and a real opportunity on that. The Golden Knights are looking to even things up here. They've had plenty of looks, but they still trail with the first. the draw, they'll take possession. Here's a short pass to McCall. And now he angles it across to Kelly. Loves him with the hit. Pushes it across to Eichel. 
The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. O'Connor is known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. And a great save! Georgiev's made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a grade-A scoring area. Moves the puck to Howden. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Takes the puck at the point. Feeds it over! Big save in front! He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Avs gain control of the puck. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Houghton. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Shillington's got it in the defensive end. Dumps it into the O-zone. Quick feed to Olsen. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Sends the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slides it diagonally to McKinnon. Slides it up front. Quick stop by Hill. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. Grabbed along the board by Gerard. And now it's over to Drouin. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Barbashev. Takes the puck. Takes it into the slot. He got all of that hit. And he slides it quickly to Landeskog. Sends it in on the attack. Quick pass to Dorofiev. Takes a shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Golden Knights would love to even things up before the end of this period as they trail despite being the busier team in the shots department. Was won the draw there on the attack. And a big time save on a big time shot. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Dumps it in. Loses his balance on the play. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Dishes it to Taves. Moves it quickly over to Dorofiev. Quick pass to Kolasar. The Avs have it behind the net. And it's a quick pass to Colton. On the attack along the boards. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. And he loses his check with a spectacular move. And he takes the pass. And that goes off the club and will play on. I love his spatial awareness on the ice. He knows exactly where the defender is on his hip. They can jostle him. They can try and push him around. But you know that if he gets a lane, he's going to take it. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Vegas is 
been so strong defensively, and they've been putting their opponent in vulnerable positions all night long, but they've got to find a way to, when they intercept, to get going the other way and generate some offense. Georgiev's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The Golden Knights have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Moves it to Hannafin. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck in their own zone. And he sidesteps the check there. Denies him on the play. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Slides it across. Across the point. And now he moves it quickly to Landeskog. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And here's the pass to Holtz. The Golden Knights have it behind the cage. And he slides it quickly to Hannafin. Sends it over to Landeskog. Two on, oh, look out! Driving to the net! Scores! Off the rush and they finish it! Well, that's a goal scorer's goal, James. I mean, he's got great moves, he's got great hands, and he finds his way to the back of the net. I mean, he has to manipulate the defender, pull them out of position, and he does yet again. The Avalanche have continued to dictate the play here tonight. Yeah, they certainly have, and they're up by two now, and you can see the coach patting them all on the bench saying, continue to attack, it's really important. When you go up by three, that can really take the life of their opponent. And that's blocked. Sends a pass over. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. He got all of that one. Takes the feed. Shot. Oh, he's just got enough of that to keep it out. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. Here's a short pass to Colton. And he takes the feed. Hill's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Golden Knights really need to find a way to start finishing on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Centering feed! It's right there with a great shot. Quick feed to Kelly. Puck dumped in. The Golden Knights have it now. Quick pass to Howden. Vegas has it in the defensive end. Now a quick pass to Brissol. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. More than half the period has expired. The Golden Knights make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Puck grab by Stone. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot! And that's broken up. Puck picked up by Eichel. Gaining momentum up along the side. And that's knocked away by Manson. Slides it across to Gerard. Shuts the door with a great save. 
And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Wow. It's in! He scores! I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have. And then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. Center's jammed up, and the winner grabs the puck. Picked up along the boards by Taves. Picked off. And he keeps possession. Rocks him on the play. Can't hang on after that hit. Moves it quickly over to McCarr. Vegas takes possession at center. Dumps it in. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Nachuskin stick handling in his own zone. Works it across to McCarr. Slides the puck over. And he takes the feed. And he stands tall in goal. Vegas continues to trail here in the second. Not for a lack of trying, though. All sorts of shots on net tonight. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Denies him again. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Golden Knights have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. The Avs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Just line. Moves the puck over to Kulisar. Poked away and forces the turnover on center. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. The Avs will play it in their own end. Quick pass across to Colton. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Was getting called for tripping on the play. The Avs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. With momentum in their favor, here comes the top power play unit already ahead in this game. You certainly know they can score from any area of the ice, and if they can get another one, the momentum is just going to continue. Here's a shot! Score ball! He saved it! Oh, wow! Oh, he was swimming. He was out of the pool, James, but he finds his way back in to make that save. Incredible. I can't believe it's stayed out! Georgiev's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. They the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Mitruskin. And that's deflected. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. McKinnon so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Truway's got it in the offensive zone. Nice hit on the play there. Was almost ready to get back on the ice. The Avs fire planks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, the power play unit looks stifled out there, and they have to make adjustments and heal. And they strike Hayden once again. Yeah, they do, and their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Well, they do a great job in transition, and they recognize they have the number. So on the odd man rush, they've got someone driving the net, pulling the knee back, and guess what? They capitalize on the space that they're given. The Avalanche have been relentless here in period number two, and 
I don't think they want this period to end. Well, they don't. They've got the comfortable lead. They're dictating play and pace, and you know that their coach can use the entire bench, and this is critical. You want to have that opportunity to look down and be able to go with anyone on it. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Sends it into the offensive zone. Pushes it across to Hurdle. Quick shot, and that goes off a body. And he feeds it down to Manson. Dropped him. Trostled off the puck. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Avs have built themselves a healthy lead through two periods, and now it's about bringing it home, James. And in order to do that, you need to manage the puck, keep it simple, and make smart decisions with it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Colorado's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Eichel's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Lines up! He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. The Avs set it up behind the net. Oh, and he drops it perfectly in the offensive end. Can't get it to go. Here we go, look at this, they're really applying the squeeze now in the offensive end. Middle stats cross the line and gain the zone. And somehow he hangs on. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound that let's go! stretch pass. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. And that slides right out to center ice. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Golden Knights have it now. Nice poke check. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Rantanen. Comes up with the stop. Georgiev's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Was won the draw here in the offensive zone. Big time stop there. Colorado's got it in their own zone. With some open space at center. Poked away by Haig. Shot! And makes the save. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Vegas plays it against the boards. Fires it on net. Score! the net. 
Vegas has dramatically changed the look of this game here in the third. Uh, two good teams going head to head, and this is going to be a nail biter right to the finish. You can feel the energy after that goal, and hey, who's going to change momentum now? Puts it on there, comes up with the stop. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, textbook put check to turn that over. Sent into the offensive zone. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Colorado's got it from behind the net. Moves it to Howden. Picked up along the wall by Haig. Takes the pass. The Golden Knights play it along the wing. Passes in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Golden Knights still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. McKinnon's won the draw inside his own end. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Passes it over! Glove save! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Golden Knights continue to trail here in the third period despite being the busier team offensively tonight. Off the face off, they take the puck. Takes it and looks ahead. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Across the line along the left wall. Here he is with the black hander. Shuts him down. And it's a quick pass to Taves. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Rips it. Tremendous athletic stop with the glove by Hill. Past the midway mark of the frame. It's a one goal game at this point. 4 3 is the score. Vegas has the puck here off the faceoff. Petrangelo's taking it from his own end. The Golden Knights carry it along the wall. Coughs it up on the play. Dishes it off. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Feeds the puck to Lekanen. He's got a step. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and then reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. He does a great job of exploiting the weakness of the coverage, and he finds a way to break away from the pack. He's in on the breakaway, James, and what a battle it is. It's one that he wins, and he drives the puck home. Colorado's now up by two here in the late stages of the third. It feels like time is on their side. Time is on their side, but they're going to have to finish it. And the clock seems a little thin right now for them. And on the other side, you've got an urgent team. If they can get within striking distance, they'll get their netminder out. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. Across the line, down the left wall. Georgiev's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Vegas has been snake-bitten tonight. All sorts of scoring chances. They've had the shot advantage, and yet they still find themselves trailing. Poked away in the neutral zone by White Cloud. Slides the puck to Carlson. From the left side, they gain the zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Manson. Vegas slides the puck against the wall. Misses over the net. The Golden Knights, wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Avalanche has to serve two minutes for boarding.
Grabs the puck here in their own end. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Eichel. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Branton is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Vegas will go to work here in the offensive end. And a great save. And now he moves it quickly to Petrangelo. Oh, another great save right there. And they managed to clear it. Great pass from off the right side. Hands it over. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Slides the puck across to Stone. Takes the feed from his own end. And that's poked away. Kibberant is lugging the puck. The Golden Knights go to work on offense. Answers the call there. Slides it across. Oh, what a nice stop. There's back to that series. Well, that was an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low spot, getting in front of it and making the save. This power play group really has an opportunity to stump like the water. All I have to do is look at the body language of the fatigued goaltender right now, James. I mean, they've had puck possession, they've had the majority of it, and they found ways to move the puck and create opportunities. Now they just gotta finish. And that puck leaves the zone. Here's a short pass to Theodore. The Avs with a huge penalty kill there. Part of being an elite athlete is recognizing the timing of when you get your opportunity. Pressure and embracing it is everything. Let's go! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Avs continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Big time stop there. And that's poked away by Petrangelo. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Barbashev. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Across the line and on the attack. Quick feed to Nichuskin. Down the right side and into the zone. Hooked away in the offensive zone by McKinnon. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. And he turns that one aside. Pass across to Colton. Great reach with the hook check. Takes that pass back to the point. Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. Grabs possession of the puck. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Centering feed! He scores! What a goal! Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Vegas has put a lot of pucks on net, much to the appreciation of their coaches, but they need to finish on one of these chances in the third. And now he moves it to Eichel. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Fires it! Oh, what a stick save! And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Colorado's performance overall looked like they were overmatched in this one, but Cheryl, final score, they get the W. They get the W. It's because they get to the winning spots, James, and they know exactly where to be at the right time, and that takes talent and skill. Timing is everything. 
Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See ya.